Hey guys, Frisian here. We're going to replace the rod bearings and uh, because it sounds like there's one or two loose down there. So we're gonna take a look at that. Um, we did change the tightening chain and uh, check out my other, other video on that. Um, it did reduce the, the noise a lot, um, but there's still a, a small knock coming from, from the bottom. So um, I'm pretty sure it's the rod bearings. There might be some play going on. So in order to get to remove the oil pan downwards and uh, so we can have access to the to the rod bearings. Uh, to do that, uh, you need to remove the wheel, you need to remove the CV axle um, front motor mount with the bracket. You need to remove the, the catalytic converter from the front and the mid pipe of the exhaust. Um, so that's sort of the things that you have to remove and then all the bolts that go around the the, the oil pan Which should be 13s so, get see, but Remove the this two 13s. There's a 15 right here and uh, two three three fifteens up there to remove the catalytic converter Okay, um, this is the oil pan. You got 13s all around sensor. Um, This remove this cross member um, it's four fifteens, and uh, you're gonna remove these two thirteens back here, and and remove these two fifteens, just so you can remove this down and take it out. So you're gonna have a 33 for the uh, CV axle. <clears throat> you're gonna remove these two bolts. They are 24, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, they're 24. You're gonna have a 24 nut and a 22 uh, bolt. All right, just remove both of these. Uh, remove this, just loosen it, and remove the, the uh, tie rod. I'll pop that out and then you can remove move the knuckle this way and doing so you can free the axle and uh, down there you're just gonna pop it out you're just gonna pop out the axle okay um, then you're gonna remove those uh, two three two thirteen uh, bolts remove the again you gotta remove the bracket of the uh, motor mount and uh, just so you can get more access. You're gonna have to remove the harmonic, harmonic balancer. You gotta remove the belt. Um, and remove, I think it's, I think it's this four. This four, uh, actually five. All right, so here we are. We removed the exhaust that goes down there. We remo removed the catalytic converter. We loosened one, two, three bolts on the bracket for the motor mount, the rear motor mount. We also just uh, loosened it, move it away from the from the oil pan, and uh, I just cracked open the the pan. So. I think we might be able to pull it out without removing the brackets so that's good news um, all right so it is possible to remove the oil pan okay without removing without removing the bracket and these other brackets okay so it's it looks harder than what it is okay so one two three bolts okay and remove these three bolts of uh, of the bracket back here as well and from the top of the mount remove that uh 
there's a uh, 15 millimeter uh, nut okay remove all the bolts from the pan um, and this is the bad one you hear that that is our problem the other ones are tight um, and this is the problem that we have so it's not as bad as it as it uh, I don't see any further damage so I think we're just gonna replace the the rod bearings and uh, it'll be on its way okay once we remove it we're gonna make sure that there's no damage to the crankshaft and uh, we'll go from there and just real quick to show you how to test how to check if there's play on the on the rod bearings um, you don't move it side to side okay you move it bolt to bolt like towards each other so this one ha this one has zero play but to side there's play but you know up and down there's no play this one definitely has play see that you shouldn't have that okay all right there's all right guys so after you clean your surfaces of the uh, rod bearing on the crankshaft um, you're gonna install your new bearing cap make sure you put some oil we're gonna put a little a drop of oil there so you can you know fit in nice and, and smooth um, the bearing cap was worn out um, what I did was polish the uh, crankshaft with uh, 800 or 1000 1500 2000 and 2500 grit um, sandpaper um, and then your final stage should be this which worked perfect for me uh, chemical guys heavy metal polish um, it left a very smooth shiny um, finish on the crankshaft so this can sit uh, correctly um, these two bolts are torqued down to 18 foot pounds and then after the 18 foot pounds you're gonna torque them 110 degrees each okay um so put that back in there and uh i think that's it so yeah cool